Hello, I'm that James guy, and today I'm going to try to control this fireplace with this smart thermostat. Now, apparently it can't be done according to Wise, but we're going to try our best. So the reason I want to do this is because that fireplace, the gas that feeds that fireplace is supplied by the building that we live in, and we don't pay a single dime for it other than our, you know, condo fees. Um, the rest of this place has baseboard heaters. They're all controlled by this, these basic little things. So at least I want to control the fireplace using something smart that I can control with my phone or Wi-Fi, all that kind of stuff. Um, just so we can keep the place warm in wintertime with the fireplace. Okay, so the reason I'm going with the Wise is I really, really like the Wise product. In our last house, we had a Nest. Um, but we don't have anything else, Google Nest type stuff, but we use cameras and stuff with Wise. So I'm going to stick with Wise. We're going to give it a try. First thing we're going to do is we're going to pull this thing off and just make sure that it is actually low voltage wiring being controlled by this thing. How fireplaces work is there's a little thermocouple in the pilot light and a thermocouple is made up of two different metals, a whole bunch of windings with a bunch of little metals put together. And if you take two separate types of metals and touch them together and heat them up, they create a tiny little voltage, and that voltage runs through the thermostat, and when it gets too cold, the thermostat closes the circuit and it allows that little tiny voltage to do a loop back to the fireplace and turn the little gas solenoid on and make the fire turn on. And so I'm hoping it's just some low voltage wires in here. We'll pull it apart and we'll check. <laughs> I think I've confirmed that these are just two very low voltage kind of wires. I can look over and touch them together and hey what do you know the fireplace turns on. I'm touching these things with my fingers. Low voltage. We're talking a couple millivolts. So I think this is going to work. Since we don't have any like other voltages other than a few millivolts coming in here we need to find a way to light the thermostat up. The Wi-Fi thermostat. So let's get started on trying to do that. Okay, to power this thermostat up, I bought one of these on Amazon. It's a 24 volt little AC adapter. Got a funky end on it. So all I have to do... And I'll just get these wires out of here and I'll wire them up to the thermostat and then we'll see if it turns on. Turns out thermostats run on 24 volt AC, not DC. So after I made this beautiful little splice here, and, or stripped these wires off, and I looked at it, and I was going to figure out which terminals they hooked up to, I realized I need AC. So I'm going to have to buy an AC adapter, or uh, sorry, a transformer, instead of an AC to DC adapter. Okay, um, I decided to try it anyway with this DC adapter, because, you know, sometimes electronics are made pretty resilient. They're kind of made to handle anything. Uh, so, according to the specs, this thing is supposed to be able to handle uh, only 24 volts AC, but I've got 24 volts DC into it. And it works, seems to do its thing, turns on. You can see I've got this wall adapter right here just to try it. The phone app worked, it synced, it's now part of my WISE kind of home thing. I'm going to hook it up to some wires and I'm going to see if this thing actually turns the fireplace on and off because according to WISE, you can't do it. Even when I set this thing up, up, I had to lie on the phone app, kind of trick it into thinking I have a regular furnace and then, because it wouldn't even let me go forward, it said not compatible and it just turned, basically jumped out of the setup screen. I had to lie to it, so we'll see what happens here when I get this thing all hooked up. <laughs> safety delay on this thing. You can't change the temperature too much too fast. I guess it's trying to protect my furnace. But when I cranked it up, it took about a minute and then the fireplace actually turned on. So I think we're, we're having some measure of success here. Crazy that it works on direct current to me. And it clicked and the fireplace went out. So I'm gonna wire this in kind of permanently. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna power this thing up because no, I'm not gonna have this extension cord to a wall outlet with this adapter hooked up to it the whole time. Um, here, I'll show you. So if you look at this electrical box here, we don't really need an electrical box because this isn't actually a baseboard heater, just a little voltage. And so in the back, if you look like in the back corner, 
and you circle around to this closet, you'll see there's like an outlet right there, opposite of it. So right about here, I'm gonna drill a hole and just feed the 24 volts from this plug through the hole into that box, and that should work amazingly well. So that's it for today. A couple things we learned. Why is thermostats work on AC or DC voltage, 24 volts? I'm about to turn it on and demonstrate that it works. Let's try this. Let's uh, crank it up here with my phone. Isn't that amazing? So it works. Why is thermostats work with fireplaces? Even though when you set them up, it says you can't do it and it's impossible. I believe nests are exactly exactly the same way. So I hope you found this useful or even just mildly entertaining and I will see you next time.